Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Rabika Rizwan, practicing consultant gynecologist and medical educationist. Today I'm going to tell you differential diagnosis of heavy menstrual bleeding. Differential diagnosis is the clinical judgment of the disease. It is the diagnosis made on the basis of clinical assessment, that is history and examination. Heavy menstrual bleeding or menorrhagia or HMB has four differential diagnoses. Number one, fibroids. Number two, adenomyosis. Number three, endometriosis. Number four, endometrial hyperplasia. If your patient has heavy menstrual bleeding without dysmenorrhea, that is lower abdominal pain during menstrual cycle, and she's passing clots, she's having regular but heavy cycle. If your patient belongs to reproductive age group, if you find firm uterus with well-defined borders and well-defined contour on your clinical examination, if you have a rapidly growing uterine size along with all these complaints, then the first differential diagnosis coming in your mind should be fibroid uterus. Moreover, family history of fibroids strongly support your diagnosis. If your patient complains of heavy menstrual bleeding along with dysmenorrhea, that is lower abdominal cramping throughout the month and she belongs to advanced age group 45 and above and she is multi-para, para 4, para 5, she has 4, 5, 6 children. If your patient has large uterine size on clinical examination which is tender to touch and you feel solid cystically enlarged uterus, boggy uterus, bulky uterus on your clinical examination, abdominally and vaginally on bi-manual examination, then the differential diagnosis coming in your mind should be adenomyosis. It is a pathological condition in which endometrial lining invaginates into myometrium. So that gives quite a bad pain along with heavy menstrual bleeding and a tender uterus if you touch patient's lower belly. Moving on to third differential diagnosis, if your patient comes with heavy menstrual bleeding along with dysmenorrhea, that is lower abdominal cramping throughout the menstrual cycle, throughout periods, which usually starts from the first day of menses and ends on the last day of menses. If your patient complains of dyspareunia, that is painful intercourse, especially deep dyspareunia, sensation of pain longer after the act of intercourse, if she has primary or secondary subfertility and she is unable to conceive for some time, if you characteristically feel nodules in pouch of Douglas on your clinical examination, if there is tender adenexa or large ovarian cyst or fullness on your bimanual examination which is tender to touch, then it is going to be endometriosis. It is a dirty pathology which makes bad pelvic adhesions, distorting tubal anatomy, causing subfertility and peritoneal implants throughout pelvis, endometriotic spots, which gives quite a bad pain. But that pain is restricted to menstrual cycle only. The last differential diagnosis of heavy menstrual bleeding is endometrial hyperplasia. If you have a patient with heavy menstrual bleeding without dysmenorrhea, lower abdominal cramping, if she complains of abnormal uterine bleeding, which may be irregular vaginal bleeding, short cycle, prolonged bleeding days, intermenstrual bleed, and you find normal uterine size on your clinical examination, which is six week size in case of a parous uterus, and there is no tenderness, no uterine enlargement, normal size uterus, early reproductive age group or late reproductive age group patient, then this is going to be endometrial hyperplasia as your differential diagnosis. This is how you fetch diagnosis in case of heavy menstrual bleeding. To summarize all this, you need to see patient's age group, parity, whether heavy menstrual bleeding is associated with dysmenorrhea or not, whether it is associated with dyspareunia or irregular vaginal bleeding, disturbed cycle, is there tenderness on clinical examination or any large uterine size? Accordingly, you will sort out your differential diagnosis. Thank you very much for watching.